What if I told you that most of the universe is made of something we can't see, can't touch, and don't even understand? Yet it's pushing galaxies apart faster and faster every second. This invisible force has a name, dark energy. And it's changing the fate of the cosmos. For centuries, scientists thought the universe was static, calm, unchanging. But in 1929, Edwin Hubble shattered that idea when he discovered that galaxies are moving away from us. The universe was expanding. Light from distant galaxies was stretched, red shifted, revealing motion on a cosmic scale. The cosmos, it turned out, was not a fixed stage at all. It was alive with motion and mystery. It all began with the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago, an explosion of space and time itself. But what's strange is, this expansion isn't slowing down as we expected. It's speeding up. Something unseen is fueling that acceleration, a hidden driver changing the destiny of everything. What could it be? To explain this mysterious, unexpected acceleration, scientists had to propose something truly radical. They called it dark energy, an invisible ethereal form of energy that seems to fill the absolute vacuum of space, acting as a cosmic-scale repulsive force, pushing everything apart. It's a concept that challenges our most fundamental understanding of the cosmos, because according to our best measurements, this strange substance makes up a staggering 68% of the total energy density of the universe. It is by far the dominant component of our cosmos, yet it remains almost a complete enigma. So, what exactly is it? The honest answer is, we don't know for sure. It's one of the most profound mysteries in all of science. But there are two leading ideas. The first and simplest possibility is that dark energy is a fundamental property of space itself. This idea is known as the cosmological constant, a concept first imagined by Albert Einstein a century ago. He introduced it into his equations of general relativity to create a static, unchanging universe, using this outward push to perfectly counteract gravity's inward pull. When Edwin Hubble discovered the universe was actually expanding, Einstein famously abandoned the idea, calling it his biggest blunder. Yet, in a stunning twist of scientific history, the discovery of cosmic acceleration has brought his constant back from the dead. It's now the leading candidate for what dark energy might be. A second, more exotic idea is that dark energy isn't constant at all. Perhaps it's a new kind of dynamic energy field, which scientists have nicknamed quintessence. Unlike a constant, this field could change over time and space, meaning the strength of its push might not have been the same in the past, and it might change again in the future. Regardless of its true nature, the effect is the same. Picture a pressure that doesn't pull things together like gravity. It pushes them apart. This isn't a force pushing galaxies space. Instead, it's causing the fabric of space-time itself to stretch. Across the vast cosmic web, it drives space to expand at an ever-increasing rate. In the early universe, gravity was the dominant force, and the expansion was actually slowing down. But as the universe grew, matter and dark matter became more diluted. Dark energy, however, being a property of space itself, did not. Its repulsive effect eventually overpowered gravity's pull. This is why the universe is not just growing, it's accelerating. For now, dark energy is a placeholder, a name we use for a profound effect we can clearly measure in the cosmos, but whose origin we cannot yet see or explain. Here's the shocking truth. Everything we can see, every star, planet, and galaxy, makes up less than 5% of the universe. The rest, Around 27% is dark matter, and 68% is dark energy. That means most of the cosmos is invisible. We see the tip of an unimaginable iceberg. 
and the dark part shapes everything. Dark energy remains one of science's most profound mysteries, a substance or force completely invisible to our instruments. We cannot see it, we cannot touch it, and we cannot capture a single particle of it. Yet, we are certain it exists. How? Because while dark energy itself is hidden, its influence is written across the entire cosmos. We observe its effects indirectly by meticulously studying the grand cosmic ballet, how galaxies move, how the largest structures in the universe form and evolve, and how the very fabric of space-time is being stretched. Our first major clue came from the explosive deaths of massive stars, specifically type IA supernovae. These cataclysmic events are known as standard candles because they always detonate with a remarkably consistent peak brightness. By measuring how faint these supernovae appear from Earth, we can calculate how far away they are. In the late 1990s, two independent teams of astronomers were doing just that. They expected to see the expansion of the universe slowing down due to gravity's relentless pull. Instead, they found something astonishing. The most distant supernovae were significantly dimmer, and therefore farther away, than they should have been. The only way to explain this was if the expansion of the universe wasn't slowing down at all. It was accelerating. But science demands more than one line of evidence. Another powerful tool is gravitational lensing. According to Einstein, massive objects warp the space-time around them. As light from distant galaxies travels towards us, its path is bent by the gravity of intervening matter, including dark matter. This weak lensing subtly distorts the shapes of background galaxies. By mapping these tiny distortions across the sky, we can create a map of all the matter in the universe. This map reveals a cosmic tug of war. Gravity pulls matter together to form structures, while dark energy pushes everything apart, slowing down that growth. The patterns we observe are a perfect match for a universe dominated by accelerating expansion. We can also look back to the dawn of time itself. The cosmic microwave background, or CMB, is the faint afterglow of the Big Bang. This ancient light isn't perfectly uniform. It has tiny temperature fluctuations. These fluctuations hold the seeds of all future structures. Imprinted on this pattern are the echoes of sound waves that rippled through the hot, dense early universe, a phenomenon called baryon acoustic oscillations. These waves froze in place, creating a standard ruler of a known size. By measuring the apparent size of this ruler in the distribution of galaxies today, we can measure the expansion history of the universe with incredible precision. From supernova surveys to galaxy maps, from weak lensing to the ancient echoes in the CMB, every independent method points to the same, unavoidable conclusion. Data from missions like the Hubble Space Telescope, Planck, and the Dark Energy Survey all converge. The acceleration is real. An unseen pressure, an energy inherent to space itself, must be at work, relentlessly pushing the cosmos apart. And with every new observation, every new galaxy catalogued, the case for this mysterious dark energy grows stronger, deepening the puzzle even as it confirms its existence. So, what is this mysterious dark energy, really? The question has ignited a fascinating debate among cosmologists, leading to several competing theories, each with profound implications for the universe's past and future. The leading contender is perhaps the simplest, yet most perplexing idea, that dark energy is the energy of the vacuum itself. According to quantum physics, empty space isn't truly empty. It's a seething foam of virtual particles constantly popping in and out of existence. This activity gives space an intrinsic, fundamental energy. This idea is known as the cosmological constant, a concept Albert Einstein himself once proposed and later discarded. It suggests that as the universe expands, more space is created, and with it, more of this vacuum energy, creating a constant, unyielding push that drives galaxies apart. But what if the force isn't constant? A second theory proposes that dark energy is a new, dynamic energy field that permeates all of space, a concept known as quintessence. Unlike the static cosmological constant, 
Quintessence can change over time and space. Think of it like a ball rolling down a hill. Its energy changes as it moves. Similarly, the strength of quintessence could have been different in the early universe and might evolve in the future. This means the cosmic acceleration we see today might not be a permanent feature. It could slow down, or even in some speculative scenarios, become much stronger, leading to a dramatic fate for the cosmos. Then there is a third, more radical possibility. What if there is no dark energy at all? Some physicists propose that maybe, Gravity itself works differently on cosmic scales. Our current theory of gravity, Einstein's general relativity, is incredibly successful at describing planets, stars, and galaxies. But perhaps it's incomplete. These modified gravity theories suggest that over immense distances, gravity weakens, allowing the universe's initial expansion to accelerate without any extra push. It's a bold idea, Instead of adding a mysterious new ingredient to the cosmos, we might need to rewrite the fundamental rules of how the cosmos operates. A constant vacuum energy, an evolving field, or a new law of gravity. Each of these ideas paints a different picture of our universe's ultimate destiny. To find out which is correct, we need more data. Only sharper, more precise measurements from our most advanced telescopes will help us solve this profound cosmic mystery. If dark energy keeps pushing galaxies apart, the universe's future looks... lonely. Stars will burn out, galaxies will drift beyond reach, and cosmic darkness will grow. This possible ending is known as the Big Freeze. If dark energy changes, fate could change too. A weakening push could allow a big crunch. A strengthening push might lead to a dramatic big rip. For now, the Big Freeze remains our best bet. Dark energy is the greatest mystery of modern physics. It hides in the vast emptiness of space, yet shapes the destiny of the universe itself. Maybe one day, we'll understand it fully. Until then, we keep looking up, knowing that the unknown still drives everything we see.